we come to that point in our order of worship where we pause to come before the Lord in prayer. This is an opportunity that we have to lift up our joys, our concerns, our thanksgivings, uh, to uh, bring these things before God's throne of grace and share them with the gathered body of believers. What are some of our joys, concerns, or thanksgivings this morning? Abby Lynn over here. <clears throat> I just want to thank everyone for their cards and their prayers, their food, their concern for Jim. He's now home, and Steve's friend is sitting with him so we can come to church. Um, he's getting stronger. If I can just keep the food going, we'll be okay. All right. What else? Martha's sister, Jill West. Okay, Barbara Fry, who has cancer, uh, has reoccurred. Let's pray for her. Bill? Today is Jane's birthday. She won't let me tell how old she is. She doesn't look a day over 39. Okay, she wants the microphone. Give it to her. And yesterday was Hope Meads. For those of you that don't uh, get the, uh, the emails and stuff for me, there's a printed newsletter up here. Uh, for the month of March, if you want to come pick one up after service. And inside, there's a picture of Marion Coker on her 102nd birthday. So uh, when I go out and make some visits and stuff, I'm going to try to get some folks to let me take some pictures. And I'll, uh, I'll share some pictures, but I thought that was an especially good one to share with somebody on their 102nd birthday. I hope that you will be able to share my picture on, the on my 102nd birthday. Uh, so it's, it, but the birthdays are important things. What else? Debbie? Um, I have two prayer concerns. Um, one is uh, Kim Shores. She works in the school system. They found a mass in her abdomen, and I'm not sure that she had it biopsied this week, So, but I'm not quite sure um, how the biopsy came out. She's at Holston Valley. And then also for Tina Gardner, she's going to be facing some, um, some surgery at the end of the month. And then thank you for prayers for my mom. She's home and, and doing much better. So I appreciate all prayers for that. And then I'm going to kind of toot our own horn, if that's okay. That's what it's for, dear. All what right. Could, what I have you a, possibly want to say? I morning? have a praise. Um, I have a big praise, y'all. This is the best praise of all for right now for our family. Um, David received news yesterday that he was awarded the Chancellor Scholarship from UVA Wise. So. Got one back there. I consider myself blessed to have a beautiful wife. She's sitting out here, and I'm doubly blessed today because I also have a beautiful granddaughter sitting beside us. I'm happy to see both of them here. Glad to see both of you here as well. What else, Ashley? Oh, okay. <laughs> Ashley? Um, I'd like to give some thanks because Benny and I had to travel to Johnson City and back on Friday. He had a leptotripsy done, and we had no issues getting over there. The procedure went well. He is experiencing some pain today. But prior to Friday and Saturday, he was great. Friday night, however, we had to go to Pikeville, Kentucky. My uncle had um, seven strokes in the past few weeks. They started out as many strokes and worked their way up to a major one. The neurologist told him he was a very blessed man because the only thing that the stroke has affected is his speech. 
He is still in the hospital right now, but we're sending up great thanks that it is nothing more serious than just the speech issues. They're doing more testing today, but they expect him to get to go home. So if you could keep, um, I'm sorry, the name is Purvis Weaker. <laughs> um, we all just call him Bear. That's what he's known by. And if you all could just keep them in the prayer, I know he has a little bit of recovery ahead of him, but we're thankful that it wasn't more serious than it was. Okay. I realize I didn't read off the normal list that I do when I, I do prayer time. Uh, we want to continue to keep uh, Nancy Allman's brother in our prayer. He's having some thyroid surgery tomorrow. Barbara Polly is now in Health South Rehab. Uh, Rosa Hamrick wants us to continue to remember her nephew Dick. Nancy Mercer is still doing uh, well up at the Laurels. We continue to remember Betty Flinger's brother, uh, Kat McClanahan. We're still praying for your dad, uh, Jerry, and your mom and your stepdad, Mary Jane, and is it Ray or Roy? Ray Shingler. Okay, good. Oh, okay. <laughs> Got to make those emergency food runs, yeah. <laughs> Let's continue to remember Benny Clifton as he recovers from uh, his uh, stroke as well. Also continue to remember David Barker in our prayers. What else do we need to lift up? Dottie? Barbara Hargrove, as she heals. What else? Okay, what else? Oh, keep uh, Nancy Kilgore's sister Wilma in our prayers. Now she, they took her out of hospice and brought her back home. She's still at home? Okay. What else? chosen to be a, a speaker, you know, for God, a testimony to, to the fact that, that prayer is a very powerful thing that we've all witnessed, and it does work, and every little prayer that goes out, it, it, it helps everybody. Okay, keep that family in your prayer, and the baby's name is Hattie? Hattie. H-A-D-D. Okay, keep that family in our prayers. What else? Well, let's go before the Lord in prayer then. Most gracious God, we just thank you that we have this opportunity Sunday after Sunday to come before your throne of grace and to lift up these people and these situations that uh, some of us, we know these people very well, others of us just hear names, but the good news is you know them better than any of us. You know what's going on in their lives and you know the kind of needs that they have and you have, through the power of your spirit, already begun to minister in many ways that we can't understand. 
because we have brought these names up in prayer and when two or three of us can agree on things here on earth then great things begin to happen because of prayer and for that we just turn you loose to, to let your spirit and power just touch these people in ways that we can't imagine and if it involves us getting involved then touch us let us feel your love and guidance so that we might say the right things and do the right things so that we can make a difference in the way that you call your church to make a difference so help us Lord help us to be your people and help us to realize that there's a whole world out there that you've also sort of called as your own you love them so much you sent Christ to die for them and so that means they're precious to you as well and so help us as we seek to let these people around us this, our friends and, and relatives the folks we work with our neighbors help us to understand and help them to understand the love that's within us and help us to share that love we ask all this in the name of Christ, our resurrected Savior. Amen.